Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another Boku no Hero Academia review, aka Boku no Greatness, aka Boku no Guilt, aka My Hero Academia. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army, and also remember to enable notifications to never miss a video from me again. Now, the like goal for this video, like every video, is 10 likes, so let's get right into the review. The first thing I want to talk about is the vibes of this chapter, the feeling while you, I was reading the chapter personally. Like, it was very calm and smooth. I really like that Midoriya, we gotta realize, Midoriya is still a huge All Might fanboy. And when All Might was like, yeah, I used to use um, an armor, but you know, I, I, I just, it was restricting him basically too much, so he got rid of it. And Midoriya was just looking all over the web. Oh, is there an All Might figurine with the armor? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being um, a fan of something to that degree where you just need anything related to it. Because I do know that people collect figures, mangas, comic books, um, and other stuff, a range of stuff, which is fine. Um, you're not hurting anybody. You're just a collector. And it was just really cool to see Midoriya in that state again because... When we first got introduced to Midoriya, like when he first met All Might in real life, he was just fanboy. Uh, that 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 was that's his hero basically, so that was really nice to see. And another thing I want to talk about is the training uh, with All Might and Midoriya again. Like this is awesome. After all these chapters, the master and the student are back together training again. Midoriya trying to get stronger, trying to control his core better, and I am very happy about that. Plus, Midoriya is supposedly getting a new suit, um, which is what Hatsume said, so I'm excited about that as well. But more excited that All Might and Midoriya are together once again. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is how smart Gentle is. This man created an entire plan on how to infiltrate UA, which I am not going to go over that plan in this video because it was way too much stuff. Um, from what I've seen in the plan, however, I will have taken off going to that place to get tea. I know the, uh, Gentle loves to see, but I'll have taken that off because that's just wasting time in my personal opinion. But he timed everything perfectly. And an interesting comment he made was that the heroes now are too like relaxed and careless basically so they they who the, who's gonna expect gentle this man that does petty crimes and stuff to infiltrate ua uh where there's pro heroes pro, uh, gonna be there to guard the culture festival where there's students um striving to become heroes which they have quirks and we still don't know how strong gentle is but I believe in the chapter in the grocery store, he basically took down like three pro heroes. So he's pretty strong, but um, I'm guessing if all the students all attack them at once, yeah, he's not going to come out of there on scape. But he seems really confident in his um, quirk and abilities and his fighting style um, to just say, yeah, I'm going to infiltrate UA and, you know, help the students learn, like make them grow. Um, even though... They, a lot of the Clash uh, 1A students are have been growing because of all these villain um, encounters and stuff. And I feel kind of bad for them because it's like, now Gentle's going to attack you away. And it's like the culture festival was supposed to be an event where the students could relax, relieve their stress, um, the worries and stuff. Because you got to realize that at the end of the day, they are still students. They are not adults. They're not pro heroes. Yes, some of them have um, hero licenses, but that still does not make them pro heroes at the end of the day. They could, they're they limited to certain activities and they're teenager, teenagers as well. So they can't just be facing danger all the time. They got to relax because it might be too much and it might um, break one of the students' spirit and they could say, okay... I had enough of this. I can't even focus on my schoolwork or whatever. Or having fun with my friends without a villain attacking and putting my life in danger. So that could happen. All, the poss all those possibilities are possible. And it would be actually really cool if Horikoshi makes maybe not a major character. But maybe more of a minor character to say I, I can't take it anymore. Like I, I reached my point. You know just so to make the story um, to see... To make the story more impactful in terms of, look, this is the effects that villains 
have on the students like this this could happen to any student like they they could reach that uh melting point so i really uh yeah th that's what i wanted to talk about with the gentle stuff so the last thing um look we got la brava's backstory she was basically a fan of um gentle we still don't know how old she is she looks like she's like 10 11 years old or something is pretty weird and she keeps saying she loves gentle so it could be a lolly situation which i I don't know. I, I'm I'm not I'm not in that group, man. That likes lollies or any, any of that stuff. Which I'm not saying. Yeah, I'm just not in that group. So it was kind of weird that with that happening. And if La Brava is a little girl and she's wandering across town filming YouTube videos and whatever with a grown man, that that's okay. That's just weird. I'm not gonna lie. Overall, I really like um the mood of the chapter what we got in this chapter and i'm sorry for this not late review because it's still the same day but this uh later review than usual and overall i'm gonna give this chapter a 7.5 out of 10 i hope you enjoyed this review and if you did remember to have a great day peace